I'd like to open the sewer study committee to the town of Deerfield on July 27, 2017, 6 p.m. I'm here at the town offices in the South Deerfield. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if anyone had a chance to review the moment, the minutes. I did, I but did I'm not, not. perfect either. Uh, we have a couple corrections. Okay. Uh, I think we met in the big room, yeah. and not in the police department's conference room. That's correct. Okay. That's correct. Do you have an extra copy too? I don't. Have you got I a copy? I know there's some. I wasn't here. That was it. Is it? Yeah. Here's your copy. Sorry. Sorry. No offense. Well, mine is wrong. So. Kevin, make me a copy, please. Yeah. Um, yeah. You might as well do several. One, two, three, Josh might be coming. I could use a copy. Okay. No, I'm sure. sure. Uh, that needs to be stricken out. The other thing I saw, and I'm not very good at this, is. As far as I know, June never had 33 days. No, they didn't. So I think it was a typo. I think it was supposed to be June 22nd. Was it our meeting? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was right there. June 33rd. You got it, too. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All right, you can finish, because that's about all I found. That's about all I found. June 22nd was our meeting. Yeah, yeah. 22nd. And, uh, so we'll wait till they get the burnt copy. So they can uh, read them? Yeah. Then I'll second your motion to accept the correct changes. Yeah. I guess while we're waiting, I, if anyone hasn't uh, noticed that Bruce Hunter's not here, he resigned. And I just want to take a minute and thank him for all his time and hard work. And uh, we're probably not going to be as organized as you were in the past. Thanks. But we need a lot. I, I, I agree totally. I agree. <coughs> Thanks for going on this one. Yep. Yeah, I agree. I hope somebody can talk him into coming back, but I don't think that's possible. But, but I would like to see that myself. It's one of the most complete mess I've ever seen. He's uh, pretty knowledgeable and had contacts too. Yeah, he did a lot of work that were very beneficial. That's what committee. you call the burnout factor. We've already burned him out. Well, anyway. Those are the only two things I saw, and I just think that part of that was just uh, typos. Yeah, I agree. I mean, otherwise, you did a great job on the minutes and always did in the agendas, et cetera. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Yes. But we don't have to take action on his resignation because it's not to us, it was to the Board of Selectmen. That's right. But we, I think we ought to recommend that uh, they try Our to talk him into coming back. Yeah, I recommend that you refuse it. If you don't accept it with regret, you just say, no, we're not going to accept it. Okay. You try it. See what happens. I think that would be a good step. Yeah. A good Bales. first step, and then if he submits it a second time, then they can accept it with regret. And Bales, need a copy? Mm -hmm. no, well, I think, uh, what's his name, John? The other guy? Josh. Josh. Yeah. Sorry. I started with Jay. I was close. Close. But, you know, I, I got reading these minutes and I looked at it and then I looked at the um, 7.5 million gallons per day and uh, we're only using 1 million point one oh per day. Not even and, total yeah, capacity. But I'm just going by what's here and you know the, the design of that new changes was 600% yeah. more than what was necessary. Okay. And, well, uh, not to backtrack, but uh, so you made a motion to accept the minutes, second. second it, with the changes. Okay. So, I guess now we'll continue the discussion on the headworks. Um, Do we want to vote on those minutes? Yes. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Abstain. Wasn't here. Warm no excuse. No excuse. Thanks, Jeff. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the Headworks project. <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if the Weston Sampson memorandum was how to proceed or that was just our discussion on how to do that. Um, but I took uh, Josh's suggestion, and he provided me with three different engineering firms. 
and I've contacted them, and I've got meetings in the next couple of weeks with each of them just to go over, uh, you know, the, the plans that we have and what we've got down there and see if we can, um, you know, get more suggestions. Um, I'm also going to discuss with them um, the possibility of their involvement with looking at the big picture as far as, you know, the infrastructure that we have and the, the old Deerfield plant as well. As well as, it doesn't really have much to do with this committee, but to provide other services for the town uh, that Western Sampson currently are doing, like well monitoring and all the issues to do with the dump and stuff like that. Um, but how about the request for proposals? Did, did anything? Well, we can't really, I'm not going to say we can't. I like Josh's suggestion is that we get information from other engineering firms along with what we got from Weston and Sampson and use all that information to create um, a request for a proposal because I've learned that if we don't have good requests, then what we get back is very one-sided. I think it's more important for the town to dictate what we want, you know, instead of just letting it these engineering firms have free run. Now, that's not saying that we're not going to be open to, you know, suggestions saying, well, you know, like this, or, you know, different things that come along, because that's definitely, you know, we're not the experts, they are. Uh, but it's, I think it's really important that we create a document that kind of lays out what we're looking for, instead of just, you know, come and give us what we want. And, and that's why I'm going to try and use the information I get from these other firms. So what you're saying, Kip, is contractually we're looking to try to be a little more specific with the RFPs instead of using general vague language yes as scope of work. In some yeah. right, scope, work. scope of work right exactly but I, what, what my idea was there's two different things one is like I said first one is to deal with the headworks in South Deerfield independent from the other one too because I, I feel that you know a year ago I started looking into this and this has kind of been what I've heard not only from Kevin but for Keith that you know it's been talked about for years and years and nothing ever really gets done. So you know I, I really want to try focus on it. even though I, I understand that it's part of a bigger picture, you know, I, the bigger picture is it's just gonna be down the road and I would really like to do something uh, to improve the situation in, at the plant. Uh, one of the things um, that I've been thinking about as well <clears throat> is the the design that we got recently uh, designed a building that was not even on our property and I've been I've looked into you know the land around it and there is still South Deerfield land to the south of our current plant and I've looked into you know tr what's involved with taking that land out of 61A or if it's in the what's that other preservation well, they got the Rivers Act. Some of that land on the River Road has been sold. Sold, right. Or, where they sold the development rights to the federal government, government. Uh, 20 years ago or 25 years ago. The federal government came up with a whole bunch of money to buy along the river. Well, starting I don't know if that's in there or not. But, and, and that's what we're looking into. But uh, if we start at the point of the, the neighbor's abutting property and the town's sewer plant property, the Boar's River, not taking more riverfront, but just to go, you know, straight west or pretty straight west. By the time we get to the other side of our property, we would gain about 65 or 70 feet. And maybe we could purchase a large enough chunk so then we could work with the existing neighbor to take part of her land. You know, I'm just throwing numbers out here, but let's say we took, you know, half an acre of her land, but gave her a half an acre behind her house that would make her property a little more useful she'd have a deeper backyard and you know different things so in the future no matter what happens that the town you know owns this property and part of uh, the town currently owns property in other areas so if there is um, you know uh, preservation uh, questions about that farmland that we could swap it with other land that we have and stuff like that from what I remember we talked about that before and back when I was a selectman, they want to put the property to the west of the plant with an agricultural preservation restriction. And once you put it into the APR program, if you want to take it out, the state frowns on that 
unless you change and give them three acres for each acre you take out, three to one ratio. And what we did was, when we had to sign off on the APR, we put an exception on the thing. It's supposed to be written right on the deed that the town has a right to take the land by eminent domain in the future should it need it for the sewer project, okay. future sewer project. <clears throat> now that's supposed to be in there. Whether it is or not, I don't know. This is on the west or the, or the west <coughs> or the south. To expand it, I understand that everything around us other than the house is on the APR. Which would be the south. So it would be, so be the south side, yeah. yeah. Question, John. Yeah. Do you know if when, when, when you said there's a land swap going from one to three, yes. those other three acres, does it matter where those three acres no. are? No, my understanding is no. Okay. The only thing they're concerned about is a ratio swap okay. of three to one. All right. But it's going to be prime agricultural and more. Well, it can't be some of the swamp. All right, well, that's, well, okay. that's what I'm thinking. Can, we get, back to the, uh, can we get back to the talking to three engineering firms rather than pursuing their request for proposals? Because it was my understanding that we voted. Voted to recommend to the recommend board to the board of selectmen to do uh, that. to do a uh, an, an RFP. We didn't vote to authorize the chairman of the committee to go out and talk to three engineering firms. Well, and we can do that. We spend a lot of time talking on this committee, and I and this may be why Bruce is no longer with us. That we spend a lot of time talking, and we seem to go in circles. And we finally started voting on, uh, we finally took a vote, and, I, and I, I thought we were all in agreement that we would do a request for proposals. Mm -hmm. And we were going to, uh, I guess Wendy was supposed to be the, the person who would spear that, spearhead that. Mm -hmm. and I think what, what is happening is what you want, but I think in between is a baby step yeah. in the fact that, that it, Kimmy has been advised by Josh that we should be looking at three other firms and talking to them and getting their input before we go out for requests for proposals. And I think Kippy discussed it with his, the other members of the Board of Selectmen last night when I watched the television. I didn't watch everything and catch every word. But I, I think they were on board and, and, look, and Kevin was there, so I, I assume, if I understood it right, mm -hmm. that I think they're on board with talking to these other engineering firms and figuring it out. And then at that point, somebody's going to, that Wendy's going to have to put the RFP out and to make sure that it's comprehensive enough so that we cover all our bases and and don't go out and throw the football down the field and find out afterwards that we were going the wrong way. But I thought it was my understanding that a request for proposals was uh, a request for engineering firms to come to us and make their recommendations, not for us to tell them. No, but we have to tell them precisely what we want them to do for us. That's the problem with the RFP. If you're not precise and you don't tell them what we want to achieve by the end product, they'll just turn around and give us a broad blank thing and say, this is it, that's what we give you. You pay us $100,000, but that's what you get. And that's what we've had before. We've had a lot of studies done by the town, and in the end, we don't get the results we're really looking for. So I agree with Kippy. It may seem a little bit longer, and it's not directly in correlation with the vote that we took, but I'd rather have them take the baby steps now to try and get the information we need and then go out for the RFP. I don't think they forgot that. I think that's, like Bob says, this is just a baby step in between. But I'd like to see that when Kippy meets with these other people, that the rest of the board members, including myself, if we're available, can actually attend and listen to what I think the board being should meet with them. I don't, I don't think point. it should be. But it, it, you know, you're talking about. If I mean, if that's what we're going to do, I think. But I think the, the, it, the thing is, okay, uh, this is just hypothetical. But I'm meeting with them next Tuesday at 11:30 in the morning. Can you all be here? Yep. And, Actually, okay. The second one I'm meeting with the following case, Thursday has to be posted. Okay. If then, wanna, then the following guy, he might be able to meet me sometime between one and three. So you all ready to sit around and wait for him for two hours in the afternoon? Yep. This is the problem, you know. Well, and, we can post. And it. I'm not, I'm not making any decisions. I'm just want to list. I'm going to just say to them, look, at, this is what we got. I might take him to the plant. I might, I'm going to show him what we have, and I'm. 
give me some ideas and stuff like that. That's all. Does it have to be posted? If we're not going to make any votes, or we just well, listen? Yeah, if you have more than a majority there, you have to have majority posted. or more. Even though Doesn't we make consider it not if, a meeting. If you only have three people there, mm -hmm. which is less than half, you don't have to post it. And I don't count. Or you, or you could make it a sub-meeting. Well, well, a sub-meeting, then you would have to, if you have you a majority of the subcommittee, you'd have to post it. Right. So, I mean, post the meetings, Kippy. Let everybody know when they are. Uh, and Whoever can come, comes in. We can all go. We can all go without being posted. It's just that you can't say a damn word. Yeah, yeah. fine. Okay. You can ask just questions. Listen. You can ask questions, but, but you cannot you have cannot discussions discuss between yourselves. That's correct. The that's answer all you comes can do. back to you, and that's the and end that's of the discussion. It. I can't say, "What do you think of that, Jack?" Correct. But okay. the other thing you have to make sure that mm -hmm. that is a certain mm -hmm. amount of confidentiality that is involved when you're talking to your interview in one particular firm. And then two days later, you're interviewing another. You don't want to make you want to make sure that that you respect the first person's presentation, and you don't give away everything, all their trade secrets. Mm -hmm. And you know we have to be careful not to compromise anybody's we'll going back thing. to what, right. going back to what you said, Jack. What, where we're at with this little thing is where we were probably two or three meetings ago when we all agreed it's beyond us. We need some professional help. Well, this is a way of not spending the dollars, but calling other people's ideas and then putting them together so that we can send out a responsible RFP to get uh, something because we've run into that set in several items, which Kip can attest to, uh, recently with other town departments and so forth. Just because of that, the RFP was not scrutinized and directly, uh, you know, fine-tuned to exactly what the town needed, and the town did not get what they needed. Unfortunately, it was after the fact, after contracts were signed. So it's not that, by no means, that we're trying to circumvent the vote. The vote is still valid. I think every one of us feels that an RFP needs to go out, but this is just bringing in some professional. Uh, um, ideas rather than us just floating back and forth our ideas and yes it's going to uh, prolong it but I, th I also agree that I think it's a better way of going it too. The other thing is is we voted to recommend it to the sewer commissioners. They make the ultimate decision. Okay, We have no bearing. If they decide, you know, last night they talked about it and they were all in agreement. Well that's has nothing to do with us. Okay. Our recommendation was for them. They, recommend they took that under consideration. They opted not to do it that way and bring in these little steps. That's their right. Okay, it's no reflection on us. This was just what we felt at that point in time. So are we saying that this idea was the idea of the sewer commissioners? That the well, idea to consult with these three other no, no, firms no, is no, the, no, 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 no. Our, our, our recommendation was that they go do an RFP. RFP yeah. The Board of Sewer Commissioners opted not to go that route right now. They opted to... Right, that's what I'm saying, the Board of Sewer Commissioners. But we are not the Board of Sewer Commissioners. Right, right. the right. Board of Sewer Commissioners is the select board. Right. Correct. Right. Yeah, but you so can't... So they decided the not to do an RFP. They decided no, not to take our advice at this time. They decided, time. To, do, they I decided to do... I don't even, do. even want to say that's, that's not accurate. When I first asked Wendy about it, she said, what do you want it to say? And I go, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm going to find out. Well, it seems like Wendy ought to go to these meetings. If she's going to write it, she'll probably be well, in the meetings. She, 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 she might be, but what, what the, the purpose of this is to get some information back from these other firms. And then I will give that to Wendy, and I can bring it here too, and she can decipher how to create the RFP. And to give you a primary example, and this is exactly what I don't want to happen is, I don't even know how long ago, but I'm going to just go back. Two years ago, we talked about a Headworks project. And, you know, there was this, some memorandum sent off to Weston Sampson. Weston Sampson met with Kevin and Keith and the select board. And then I read through the minutes, and I might even have some of them here. Then there was a change to it. Then it was incorporated. Well, then to one of the meetings, Kevin said, well, you know, we'd like sometime in the future maybe to get a, a VAC chart. I might be kind of close. So we could maybe put a building in. Well, if you're, if, if you're going to put a, you know, there's a good chance that we can get this paid for with some grants from Mass yeah, Works. So we'll throw that in. So we'll throw that in too. So then Keith said, well, I really need to have 
the, you know, the separator for the grit and stuff like that. Well, one of the selectmen said, you know, well, maybe we could regionalize too. And, you know, well, you know, maybe the other selectmen said, well, I'd like to be able to put sewage. And this engineer is getting this stuff from all sides. And that's how then, it grew. That's how right. it grew. So and big. then when they created our, nobody <laughs> took the time to check it out. And that's why we spent $132,000 for that giant roll of paper that Bruce just back. And we can't use it. And I don't want that to happen again. And I want to have good information. And even if Wendy doesn't understand it, you know, I think that Josh, he offered to help her. Between Josh and Wendy, they could decipher all of this information and create a more accurate RFP. We, and we can send, we'll send it out to uh, Weston Sampson as well as these other people, whoever, you know, and there might even be other firms. And just say, Actually, I think when you put it out, anybody can. Anybody, 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 anybody because anybody. because of what it is, you have to put it out in the. Right, just right. Yeah, right. Right. yeah. It, but I don't think you have to put it in the newspaper twice, and there there's a bunch of uh, municipality rules and regulations you have sure. to abide by. You know, and mm -hmm. that's all Wendy's. I, I don't know, but it's what Wendy was sent to school for. Well, so, but that's, so, so you're going to go to these people and say, "Help us with the RFP." No. No. Right. Okay. No. I'm, I'm gonna. I want not help with the RFP, but you're gonna discuss what information might go in the RFP, what we think we want in the RFP. I didn't even know I was gonna do no. that. I, I no. was going to just have have them look at the plant, show them the, what do you think? Because I've I've done this with other people, you know, um, other engineers that I know, and I brought them. <laughs> All right, this is the problems that we're having. What do you suggest? You know, but that's that's separate information. I'm gonna I'm gonna. Actually, Josh gave me the names of three different engineering firms, and so I've reached out to them, and I'm going to do the same thing individually. With, that's what I wanted to do, is to have them look at it. What do you think? You know, I'll share you know, what we, we have and you know, give us some ideas, and then we can take all those ideas together along with what we have, and Josh could then maybe decipher it with Wendy and create a more accurate RFP. To RFP work. for what? For engineering services for a headworks project. Aren't we going beyond the scope of our, um, what no. we're charged? No, no we're supposed to make recommendations <laughs> right. Right. to the right. select board, and they take the thing, and then they send out, it's under their auspices that they send out the RFP. Right. And then the, re, the RFP results come back to them, and then they say, this is what we recommend or we don't recommend. And if sure. they want to share it with us, that's great. Sh shouldn't the select board be saying that we should be gathering stuff to get an RFP? I mean, where, where do we stop? Well, we're well, supposed to be making suggestions to them, and I'm wondering if we're going beyond that. I listened well, to the I'm television last night, and yeah, Kippy obviously participated, but it's my understanding that the selectmen are going to be at our next meeting in August to actually become more involved as ex-official members of the board and making sure that we take the right baby steps and do things, you know, going forward in a positive manner. That's what I got from what your meeting was last night, that they're actually going to get themselves involved more so than just sitting there and making a final decision. They want to get get their I'm glad to hear that. That's what I got out of it last night. Okay. That's, well, I, I agree. It, yeah. it just, I think it's another step to open up lines of communication. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of all in the same room at the same time and all on the same page at the same time. And I think with that, I think it would also speed up the process of what we're trying to do here as a committee. Instead of, okay, well, this, this, this tonight, we'll try to get it back to the select board and then maybe a month later, try to get an answer back. We might be able to they sit there cut and short circuit. Of that. Exactly. Yeah. I think they said something maybe the 17th of August. I don't know. I, we did. I, I, I sat there both and listened. Carolyn and Trevor are going to be away. Um, so. Um, so you want to set that date right now? I think we are. I think I kind of we did for the 17th. For us? Yeah. Are they going to be away though? No. Carolyn will be back. I'm not sure about her. Okay. So, okay. So, so August 17th. I so won't be here. I won't. I won't. No, wait. Here we go. How about the I end will. of August? I will. Did you leave about a month? 
a month away. Sure. Like we've I, done. I, yeah, I can, I, I can do that. How about like August? 24th. 31st. Well, the 24th plus isn't going to work because... Right. Yeah, okay. Carol's going to be there. Carol had a But how about August 31st? That's fine. <clears throat> that way you can... Yep. Pretty yeah. much. I can't be... <laughs> 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 uh, well, it's pretty hard to... to pretty hard to get everybody. Right. Right. everybody yeah. Yeah. Especially in the middle of the summer. But it'd be nice to have... As many as possible. Right. And it'd possible. also be nice to have all three sewer commissioners yes. here, yes. I think. That would be... Instead of just having... You know, at least a quorum here and get right. the sewer, commi sewer commissioners involved. It's more important, I think. So is this official? Because I think we've... My choice would be the 31st. Okay, we'll do it the 31st. Is there another night during the week that you could make that? That week is that last any, week? Any other night. Any other night? Not that same week? Well, uh, of that same week, that any, same week any, really any time that... 29th? Tuesday? Tuesday 29th? Yeah. I can't think of anything. Conflicts. Want to do it for minutes? Okay. Uh, Roy? How are you, John? I'm fine. I'm you fine all week. Kevin, oh, I'm good. I should be around the 29th. Okay. Let's do the 29th then. Tuesday the 29th? Yeah. Cool. That put you Night again, it's at 6 p.m.? That put you 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. And if there's a conflict where they can't come. your boss. <laughs> so <laughs> I did nothing to do with it. If, if I may, um, because of the vote of last meeting that you guys had, that you were guys going to go ahead and try and put together an RFP of the whole nine yards. What I did was I took the liberty of, of speaking with some people at no cost to the town, the district, or the sewer, or whoever. Uh, they're going to be putting together a broad based scope of work to give us something to start with it's a skeleton and you can pick it apart you can add to it you can subtract to it but at least this way we have something to start with because right now if we sat down and said well what's our scope of work going to be we're all going to look at each Do other have it no no <laughs> i'm ready that's, that's I'm, ready. I'm ready for it too but that's because it's good not idea costing any money I'm at their I'm at their I'm at their leisure which but means when, probably another week or two to be honest you, with you when you get it can you email it to well, us? certainly can yeah so that's a good idea, kind of. And then that way, at least you've got something to start with, you know. That's um, great. And you can you can like I said, add to it, subtract from it, do whatever you like. But mm -hmm. and one of the other things I did do because of the little fiasco that happened with the um, Captain Lathrop um, feasibility study, what I've done at least for anything that I'm doing for engineering. Everything now is going to have a task, and that task is going to have a dollar amount next to it. So if that task is not done, then that dollar amount goes away. Mm -hmm. So, and I believe that should be something that the town should adopt as a theory or a policy or whatever for whenever we're doing anything because of what happened this last time to make sure it doesn't happen again. A personal opinion, you know, that's, that's why I said I'm doing it for my stuff. If the town wishes to do it for everyone else, that's fine, but... Mm -hmm. Are these purchase orders that you actually issue? No, it's not a purchase order. The, what this is is, is RFP. it's it's uh, part of the part of the RFP. You say, okay, well, these are the tasks, or somebody yeah. comes in with a contract, and, well, and they say, okay, I'm going to do five different things, and A is going to cost you ten thousand, B is going to cost you a thousand, C, D, E, whatever, and if they don't provide one of those, that's going to go away from how much you owe off that contract, okay. and that's mm -hmm. going to go off how much you owe from the contract if they do not perform. What is part of the tasks? And what if it's not performed satisfactorily? You're still going to pay them. That is going to be that's that's Sometimes up to interpretation. That's out of my realm, so okay. don't but, even ask me. <laughs> but well, it depends who you ask. The if you ask the two, yes. Board. If you ask me, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know they paid something over your objection last time, but I turned the TV on as after that's most right. of the discussion was done, so I don't yeah. know what happened. Yeah, that's all right. yeah, prefer not to get on that road. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. anyway. But we want it's a good idea Bruce to make sure we got it. Sure. Bruce read the uh, 
last uh, specifications and all the big roll of parts. Oh. Uh, do you have any? Do you have any input on that? Well, there again, it's all garbage by the memorandum we got anyway. So, well, from right. so it's no sense in even getting into it. All right. I'm just, other than, I'm just other, curious why you thought other, it was worth 132,000. Other, other than reviewing the next set a lot. It was very educational, now, which right? I think that yeah, I guess. <laughs> well, it, it's it, like wow. It wasn't. It, it. I mean, I looked at those well over a year ago, and I, I was like, oh no, this something's wrong with this. It's just it was you know huge. There's just so much things, but I didn't I didn't have the background like I have now. Yeah. Uh, you know, and and, I didn't, and actually it wasn't until a few meetings ago when we got on the paperwork where it said the 7.8 million gallons. It was like. How did that happen, you know? That's only 7.5, though. Oh, no way. Yeah, 7.5. <laughs> well, that's over millions excess. Yeah. yeah. Not really. Exactly. Depending on what you were planning on trying to do. Well, I mean, if you're going to take in all the sunlight. Exactly. And if you were all the green fields. If you were trying to do all this other stuff. Know. If you were looking at, because again, this was another um, select board member that was requesting to be yeah. added into this project. Right. Well, now we want to do, uh, we'd like to be able to accept septage as a revenue generating source so that changed how yeah. the system is done yeah. so as each person added in their little piece it went bigger and bigger and bigger 7.5 mg <clears throat> mgd is is big no doubt about it realistically if you were trying to do everything you really wanted to do to include shut down old deerfield and also to include five and ten sewering that you could probably get away with a five but you're not going to get away with anything less than a five because you have to think about where we're going. You have to think about where we're going. If you don't know this, if you don't know the science of how it works, then you cannot make an intelligent decision on how large the plant has to be. You have to understand the, all of the inner workings. I'm still in the infancy stage of, of what there is to know about these plants. I mean, Keith, every time I go see Keith, I try and pick his brain for a little bit more information. But for anybody that really doesn't know the plant, it is not our place to say, how big the plant's going to be because we don't know. Granted, go ahead and bring in your different engineers, know exactly what you're going to be looking at for your flows, what are, your, what are, your, what are the capabilities going to be, what is, is there going to be any growth? You have to think about a little bit of growth. You have to start thinking about nitrogen. Nitrogen is also going to be increasing the size of your plant. So there's a lot of things that really come into what play. What does the so nitrogen I, have to do with the input of the, the flow input? The flow input will actually because it all ties in together because you have to have more detention time. You have to, and that is all part of the capacity of the plant. But that's flow output, not input. No, that's the capacity of coming into the plant, the 7.5. Being five. able to hold it. Being able to receive it and treat it is what it's, is what it's supposed to do. Well, anyway, this, this 7.5 is the design, the, the design of the headworks, not it's way overboard. Exactly. It, it, was, it was way overboard for the plant that we have. Right. Exactly. But that also included so another clarifier. That, that was just the headwork. That wasn't that well, wasn't the actually, that wasn't a that wasn't a plant. Actually, correct me if I'm wrong, but wasn't there clarifiers, additional clarifiers on there? No. no. But, uh, Wait a minute. Grit removal. Grit this removal. Is, oh, the current plant, much less seven point five, the total capacity in this the South Deerfield. I guess it doesn't say of what it is right now. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yeah, but what I'm, what I'm trying to get at is, is is I believe it would be up to an engineer, not us collectively, to say what the size of the plant is going to be. What I believe is for quote unquote everyone to look at the facilities and why this says including stormwater. I really don't know the charge of the mm -hmm. of the committee. You know to look at the age of the whole nine yards. What are your what are your what are your studies going to be? What are your strategies going to be? You know, how are you going to manage it? How are you going to treat water wastewater in the future? So it says it right here. You have to think about the future. So it's not up to the committee to say, well, we need a three point, we need a five point, we need a fifteen point. These are all the things we need. You tell us this is what we need in this basket. What is this going to take to make it work? Is the way I read the charge of the of the committee, not to say. Right, but that, plant is the and, and I think this is where I had a, a disagreement with Bruce, is that, it, to me, I look at it, it's just like our government trying to fix health care. There's a lot of good and a lot of bad, but they seem to be focused on just changing everything. Why not just fix the bad part and leave the good alone? And that's what I'm trying to do here. I want to fix the bad now 
without putting a band-aid or stifling growth, there's mm -hmm. things that we can do now. But I think to study everything is still going to be a long, drawn-out process. Exactly. Committed. And that's why you need to, again, as put out to an engineering firm that does this right. as their living to come in and tell you exactly what needs to happen. But you need to give them some parameters, which is basically where your your tasks come in, your, sure. your scope of work. This is what we'd like you to do. And personally, myself, I would like to see it broken apart. South Deerfield, Old Deerfield. What's it going to take? You know, and, and again, take it in small bites because yeah. when 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 something comes back and it's this thick, everybody looks at it and goes, "Oh my God!" and they drop it like it's a hot potato and walk away from it. It's thirty-two million dollars. We can't do that. No. Okay. Well, South Deerfield, arbitrary numbers, three million dollars. Okay. Old Deerfield, two million dollars. So you start looking at these small things. What is it going to take to fix each one of these? individually and then that way it's like a menu you pick and choose what you can what you can afford at that point and or which direction you're looking to go in but without having the knowledge because none of us here do myself included but to be able to you know what I mean when you're fixing something now which I granted that should, I agree it should be a priority mm -hmm. but if we're gonna have to if we want to expand for some reason mm -hmm. Wouldn't we save money in the long run if we made, made it part of the current fix? Like if we're if we're gonna, so you don't have to do a redo five years down the road. We don't want right, to make right, any mistakes. Right, exactly. right. We don't want to undersize something. That, right. You know, exactly. we want to great. Right. Well, keep to go on with what Kip so, said. What, what I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but what what Kip was talking about originally was, and it's not a band aid by any means, and I don't consider it a band aid, is putting something small right now for what we've got to be able to start taking our rags out of the system. That's one of our major issues that we have right now, which is a phenomenal idea. If it takes just a small little steel building, throw some heat in there, just that part of it. Granted, are you gonna be able to reutilize that $90,000 piece of equipment? I don't know because you don't know what size your plant's gonna be. Can that be reutilized in old Deerfield because they have a much lower flow? But- well, we can even it, keep old Deerfield. Well, again, well, exactly. So, well, realistically, if you wanna have a force main, you want to get all that stuff out before you put it in a forest main because otherwise that's like showing a bunch Oh, you mean, okay, you got to talk about that area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I mean, because yeah. regardless, that plant, that wastewater has to go somewhere. Right, sure. So if it goes into a forest main hypothetically and comes here and or goes to Greenfield, they're going to want clean, they're not going to want all that rag material because that's part of the reason why it's costing us so much. But again, I agree with Kip that find some small stuff that we can go and, 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 and manage right now. Because right now I've got $90,000 in capital improvement for basically the uh, um, mechanical bar screen. Because that's how this whole thing started was, was, okay, well we got the money for the mechanical bar screen. Okay, me being ignorant, I didn't know what it was. Well, how's this thing work? Okay, well, is this thing gonna work outside? Well, no, okay, well, and then that's how it went from this to where we are today. But part of that study that was done by Weston Sampson really did do a lot of this because they did look at the old Deerfield plant and they did look at South Deerfield and they did look at the, and, and part of what the engineers came up with is a suggestion to close old Deerfield and to pump it this way. You know, they didn't say how to do it, but that was part of their suggestion. So, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's why it's taken me a long time and I feel everybody's frustration pain. But it, when I read these things, and sometimes I'll read 40 pages of this thing and I go, and I have to really stop and think about what the hell did I just read? And you know, trying to learn this, and I don't want to duplicate the, the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to educate myself so when I speak to these people, I, I just don't say, well, look, if these are the problems, and you know, go for it. I, I, want, I don't want to waste the town's money like we did last year. I just don't want to do that. No matter what you do, there's going to be inherent waste. Well, going, going back, going back to what you just said before, you know, you don't want to make. It, isn't it better to spend more money now than have to do it over later? Well, that's exactly where we're at. We already have a plan. Spend thirty-two to fifty million dollars. Yeah. Where's it going to go? You won't get anything done. Right. Okay. Yeah. So now you have to shrink back. You do the small stuff, even though you know it's going to be redundant five, ten years down the road. You, the public will swallow that four times that before they'll ever swallow $30 million. That's true. In the meantime, in the meantime, the DEP is going to continually change. As Kevin just said, this nitrogen is going to, nobody knows how that is going to reflect these plants. Everybody up and down the Connecticut River all the way to the ocean is, 
you know, pulling their hair out at this point. What's going to come after the nitrogen? Okay, so no matter what you build today, this even if you spent thirty million dollars, it may be obsolete in five years from now anyway. So you really got to you've got to get down. We have so few users that you have to start looking at what is saleable, what is necessary, the, you know, what needs to be done right now, which is getting rid of the rags and all that stuff. Even if it becomes a redundant expense and it only lasts for five years, at least everybody's safe for five years, you've cleaned up the system for five years, we're going to look good as far as the DEP goes for five years and everything else. So five years down the road, it's going to change. Right now we don't have a, a, a good, I think maybe the COG might have some sort of um, report as far as what they might anticipate for growth for Deerfield for the next 20 yeah. years, don't they have something the, I, that would give you some sort of idea of what you know yeah. what you were talking 1%, about? 1%, 2%, yeah. You know, yeah. Half a percent I think, they, I think they actually years. have some anticipated right. numbers. Right. The, the, town, the town, the growth of the town has been very, very small for the last 20 years. Yes, because of limit, limited land right. resources. Yeah. Well, so the other thing is the sewer moratorium killed it for, for so many years is to yeah doing any expansion right. until the pickle shop well, shut down. down. Yeah. And so that there wasn't anything really happening. And it's not right. that much land available no, there is. For, no. because of it. But one thing I want to make sure is if we take in, uh, or plan to take in uh, septic, we need to make sure that whatever we're doing is cost effective. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to see it cost us $2 million and you're going to get $6,000 a year in, in oh, right. dump fees. Right. Right. Okay, you know, we, exactly. need to, well, we, exactly. we need to find out what cost make that, effective. Make that one of your tasks. That's what I'm trying right. to right. bring it up so that it's make out. Make that part of the menu. Right. That's right. And that's what I talked about early when the report came out. Well, you expand sewer up hillside over here, over there. It's not going to be cost effective. You have to study that. You have to take a look at it. Obviously, it wouldn't be, you know, you're just going to have to figure out what's cost effective and what's not. And expanding, any time you expand, that means more you've got to maintain. Right. So, I mean, the only place coming down 5 and 10 that's got any chance of uh, commercial potential is the land that Kippy owns, right? The land south of it and onto the other side of the road, all the way down to No Village Road. Because the other land has already been bought and it already has sewer at it. So, I mean, Channing Beat owns most of the land going all the way up there on one side, and Yankee Candle owns it, or somebody connected with them owns it on the other side. And they've already got sewer. So the only places that really gonna have any commercial expansion possibility is from <coughs> Mill, uh, Mill Village Road north to Long Hill. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. You know, and, you, know you could sewer Hillside Road gravity down to go into it, okay? But uh, if you go to the other other hillside road and down where Jeff lives and what have you, you're going to need a pump station probably uh, to get it into the system. Mm -hmm. so that, I'm, not, I'm not an engineer, but that's just what I see. Yep. And so I don't think we're looking about a ton of land that's going to be available for commercial. If you want to go to East Deerfield, you know, the, the stone crusher, the land east of that, there's a whole bunch of land that maybe could eventually be soared and be, have some industrial potential. But right now, it's not going to happen. <clears throat> That's my guess. Yeah. So just so everyone's aware, um, I, during the meeting last night, I did ask the commissioners um, whether they wanted to proceed with the existing plans and have it be put out in front of Mass Works again. And the decision at that point in time was no. Um, the only thing I just want to make sure everyone's well aware of is, is when it comes to a mass works grant, it's, it's not a matching, it's nothing else. It is, you ask for 20 million, there's your 20 million. Mm -hmm. If you ask for 5 million, there's your 5 million. It's not a match, it's not a percentage, it's nothing else. We don't have to do in-kind work towards it at all. So, like, very similar to River Road. When we did that section of River Road by the bridge, 
all of that was completely and totally paid for yeah. by the Mass Works grant. The town paid no money for that project. So again, I just want you to be aware because I think there was a little confusion on uh, one or two people that the Mass Works grant was still like a match or something like that. So I, I just wanted to clear the air that a Mass Works is 100% funded. But money from I, heaven. But I did, I did look into that some time ago. Mm -hmm. And it, our plan, the size of our plant and our plan was not very uh, what's the word I want to use? appealing. Appealing to them, to them at all. Mm -hmm. You know, it uh, it was. It was felt it was overkill. Yeah, huge. Well, my understanding from and, from what I know of the grant program is, as soon as you start using the words uh, economic development and regionalization you go from here to there on the list. Yeah, but so, the same guy that I was talking with system, he gave me a note number and I called the Army Corps, Army Corps of Engineers. What's involved with getting a pipe under the Connecticut River? Right, right. Ten minutes when you, later when you stop laughing, he goes, well, <laughs> how old are you? <laughs> you should have called Kidder Morgan. <laughs> yeah, it's, they to do it. Maybe they could run it as the same pipe. Yeah, maybe they could have a... <laughs> I don't put know. Put the same pipes in the end, the same all, all of this stuff is, is, is kind of frustrating because you keep Carol getting into like all these. Right? Well, just so you're all aware, I mean, yeah. te technically, it doesn't have to be underwater. I mean, because you look yeah. at the, 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 the dry bridge, yeah. the dry bridge mm -hmm. has water. water going across. Yeah. Sewage, at the very least, coming out of somebody's house yeah. is at least 60 degrees. I mean, granted, it obviously cools down because that's when we have problems with our grease and the whole thing areas that <coughs> regulate. But for the most part, for that section right there, as long as it was forced and it was continually moving, it wouldn't freeze, it would be insulated. So the theory of having to go underneath the river, you wouldn't have to. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but again, that, that's, 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 that's an engineering thing that's well beyond yeah, sure. my scope, but again, I was told it does not have to go underneath the river. Yeah. Well, but anyway, we, we don't, is there any support for regionalizing with Sunderland? It's not on this committee no. or? No. On the, they, and, and I've talked with both towns, and you know, it's been nothing more than just, you know, what do you think about us? Well, I don't know, we could talk about it sometime. Right. Because that's, see, that's the reason why they were looking for all those letters of support. There yeah. was 13 letters of support that came from all the surrounding towns to increase the abilities or the possibilities of getting the grant. Realistically, and I'm not saying to, to go out and do this with this, try and go out again because the select board already said, or the commissioners already said no. But just because it's 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 there, you you need to you're not going to get it the first year. River Road, it was three years before we got it, but when we did get it, it was 100 percent. So my personal opinion, again, going on the theory, shrink this thing back down again. I'd still ask for a, for for a Mass Works grant. Yeah, well, that's, that's what we voted. Sure. That's yeah. what we voted yeah. to recommend. That's what I thought. That's so, what we voted to recommend, that, that we downsize the plan yep. to a, a more manageable size, mm -hmm. apply for the Mass Works grant, and if it failed, then we pay for it ourselves, because so it has to be done. Just, it's just, not going to do any good to file for the Mass Works for this round. Because it's due because Friday we're not prepared. next week. But just so you know, Jack. Okay, well, whatever round, whatever okay. round. Yeah. I follow you. Next year, we want to be prepared to mm -hmm. make, yes. make mm -hmm. the application timely. But just what their homework done? Right. Just so you know that it's been three or four months since I had a meeting and Kevin was there with Weston Sampson about Don Sandless, and it was going to cost $132 million all over All again. over yeah. So. A what? $132,000. $132,000. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> I put another zero in there. Yeah, you moved the comma. So, and at that point, you know, because at first, I think Kevin mentioned that they would be willing to downsize it for nothing, you know. Which work. is the way he made it sound, right. as long as they didn't have to change the hydraulic. The hydraulic. Right. right. So but as soon as you start shrinking it down, yeah, that's it, the very first thing that happens. So, I mean, and that, and that came up in the first 10 minutes of conversation about, you know, the flow and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He said, well, now you're changing everything. So now we're, I said, well, what's it going to cost just to make that smaller? He said, well, we're going to start all over. So it probably I, did the 130. I was like, I don't very much have to start all over. I think it's yeah. a, uh, well, some engineer is going to have to walk over and change the formula 
and uh, most of the other stuff is going to stay the same. Yeah, because you still want the 132,000. Okay, no, not necessarily, because again, like like what the, the gentleman that Kip was speaking with, he said, find somebody that's hungry. Right, we don't have to use it them if they're, not, if they're not going to help us, then right. exactly. And if they're not going to give us any kind of credit, right? No, I'm not. Then, no. then why don't we then find another engineering firm? And I think, think that decision has probably already been cast because yes. you're going to look at three other people. Yes. We're not saying we're not going to go back to Weston Sampson. They're going to be invited like everybody else. But There's going to be some competition this time around. But, but so the, the sharp depends right. on But that's more that's for the the, sure. the total study. No, that's no. for the RFP. It's not just for the uh, headworks, is it? I, that I like I said earlier. I'm going to do both. I'm going to have the conversation for both. I want you know my my priority, and I I, I feel comfortable speaking for the the board is that we want to do something to fix the sewer plant problems that we have now. Even if they're small, we don't want to spend a lot of money on something that we can't utilize. But there, are, there are options out there that will drastically improve, you know, the, the, the rag situation and the grid situation. And we don't have to spend a lot of money. We don't have to dig everything all up. And you know, in a, a year or two, are we going to change it? It's something we can just pick up and move to old Deerfield or, or sell it. It's not going to be an obsolete, you know, piece of junk. So, so when you're talking with these engineers, Henry, just for my own observation, I don't know, haven't seen an overall picture and so forth. And I think I'd mentioned to Kevin, but there's a couple options. You know, one of the set things in the plans was, uh, bid ready plans was uh, included, was removing all the equipment that's down there that's never going to be used mm -hmm. in the building now, whatever that right. compactor mm -hmm. was. Yep. The yep. press. Press. The press. Um, would it, would it uh, be uh, rather than having to go through an architect and pay a percentage for him to uh, say to remove it, uh, couldn't the town put out an uh, RFP for removing that stuff for salvage to, you know, like STI or places like that? Because it sounds like that stuff it's is not going to junk anyway. anyway. Yep. It can't be reused. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. why would we be paying an architect at 6% to put that in his specifications? Uh, just to, I'm not as, asking for an answer, but just no. yeah. uh, the other thing is is, um, and I don't know the logistics of the grades and so forth, but you're going to have that huge empty space when they get all done removing that. Mm -hmm. Is there any way of uh, you know with grades coming in or out to repurpose that part of the building to incorporate some of this grip sure. removal or something? I mean, I don't know how that would work mm -hmm. or even the lower side after they pull the generator out yeah. uh do you repurpose that part of the building for some of this i mean yeah, I definitely because i think i think that's that generator you know it's, it takes up a lot of space and the other thing does oh, the, the generator yeah. takes up very little space compared well, to the but, overall space but, in that but, room. And, but i don't know what the you know grades are and so forth whether and what the logistics yeah. are to try to run but i mean you know maybe if you're talking to these engineering you know what they're maybe if they would have any ideas for maybe repurposing those two parts okay. of the building. What would that press? I mean, why was it taken out of service? Do you because know? the landfill closed, if you read the minutes back here, because I read the June minutes from last year, yeah. and they talked about the fact that it uh, added sludge dewatering, right? And what have you, but uh, the sludge disposal was closing the landfill in 1997. They went to disposing of it the other way. And because the landfill closed, according to these minutes of your meeting before I was on the board. My understanding is, is is to jump on that. Once they did that, then they were trying to go ahead and put it on farmland, which is which is it, it's good. It's not bad for the land. It actually puts its nutrients back in. But there was too much copper in it. And as soon as they recognized the fact there was too much copper in the sludge, you couldn't do it anymore. Because That's you're right. contaminating the soil That's with that. copper. That is why it pretty much stopped, because they're like, we've got no place to break well, it. That, that brought me down to another one, because I was like, well, where does all this copper come from? And apparently it comes from all our houses. Mm -hmm. And it, it has to do, and I was trying to think, well, how does that get it? It has to do with the pH balance of the water in our reservoir right. that eats the copper as it comes mm -hmm. through. And who would have thought that? That makes right. a good difference. Well, I, I had a copper pipe uh, underneath the toilet rod out in my house mm -hmm. years ago. 
and uh, it, it did it twice, yeah. that big, thick copper, and finally we had to replace it with plastic. Well, you know, you mentioned that, Bruce, what I'll do is I'll talk to the board and we'll, you know, Kevin will probably have, water. have you get some, we'll, we'll put out an RFP to have somebody come in, take a look at it, and get rid of it. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great idea. I mean, because realistically, because Keith, Keith had reached out to all of his contacts, he put it out on all of their, their membership, yeah. wastewater treatment people of America, yeah. or whoever they were, um, and there was a couple of bites, and as soon as they took pictures and sent it to them, they are like, no thanks. They can put um, it on Craigslist, maybe somebody will bite. Basically, uh, all you'll end up getting is, is probably scrap weight for the stainless, is what you end up getting. Yeah, but you could put it on Craigslist and somebody might buy that. No, you really can't. you got to go you through an RFP. No, no, you're not following municipality. Right. Well, you right can dispose of, what do you call that? Surplus. Surplus material. Property of low not, value. It's a not, certain amount. It's not Property of low value. It's not a very valuable. More than $5,000. Yeah. It has to go out in RFP. There is more than $5,000 worth of stainless there. Yeah, okay. Just what would it, would it be divided up? Like then you're splitting a bit and you can get caught doing that. Could, uh, your uh, crew, especially if you get the additional person, Kippy wanted you to hire last mm -hmm. night, uh, go in there and cut it out of there. You don't, you don't and we take it up to Kramer's? You don't want to get into that. Now you're creating too much of a hassle for liability. You're, you're moving steel. You're moving steel and everything else. Somebody's going to get hurt. You, you need professional people for it. You need mill rights if you want yeah. to do it properly. Yeah. I, you know, you you don't, don't I don't know. I looked. It, 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 was, a good it was just bolt. a suggestion to bring it up. But I mean, it's a it's, 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 it is a good suggestion, though. It's going to be salvage. Um, okay, where are we at now? <clears throat> nice discussion. The, the pump, the Captain Lathrop pump station. Can um, we finish with the headworks discussion? No, you have something you'd like to add? No, I know. It's a question. Have we oh. finished? I guess we have, right? Because we're moving on. Yeah. I don't know if somebody else has any other. Lots of questions. Well, well, who who's going to do the? What's the next pro? What's the process for choosing an engineer to do the headworks plans in the next year? Well, you go through the RFP you process. Go the RFP process. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, we, 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 we try it. and put the scope of work together to be able to put the RFP out try. so that way you get what you're actually going. Try so we're supposed to present that to the selectmen, can we guys still go? Are we no. going beyond our charge? No. I would say I we're, supposed we're, to we're, right, we're, I, we're right on the cusp. I but, agree with you there. But we're they're going to come into our next meeting ex official, and this is where everything should be put on the table. In between, Kippy's going to meet with these three engineering firms, pick their brains, have Wendy sit down and try to write up the scope of services, let Kevin review it and, and send the draft to everybody around here before it goes out for discussion or if we need to meet to discuss it, fine. Mm -hmm. I would suggest that when Kippy meets with these people that we meet, if you set it up so it's going to be at one of the plants, right? Well, we're not. And, and rather than here and then have to go. But I think you're going to get much more hands-on with oh, people involved if, if, we, if you if you're at the plant and then you know one plant and the other or vice versa so and that they all see the same thing sure. i also need to think that you the people that you're talking to have the option of whether they want to speak to a group because they may not want to be right that's true I'm talking in front of a whole bunch mm -hmm. of people okay. i know if i was representing a firm well, he was formally he asked to a formal meeting. I wouldn't want a, a bunch of he said, she said. And uh, you wouldn't want anybody taking pictures and recording the whole exactly. thing. Exactly. Or thing. somebody else is going to get the information. Exactly. It's proprietary you know, information. So, I mean, you know, uh, until, until these people are asked, I think it's a moot point. Yeah. The only other thing I'd like to bring to everybody's attention is, is the plans that we have presently right now. Those are... My understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, Kip, because I think you went and looked into the uh, illegality end of it, was, was it is, because when we asked for it electronically. They wouldn't give it to us. No, they gave it to us electronically. We have it electronically, but with the stipulation that those belong to Weston and Samson. Yeah. Okay. And if we go ahead and we bring those and give those to somebody else and they start tweaking them around, you're opening yourself up to a lawsuit. I'm just putting that on the table. Yep. So. 
as mm -hmm. copyrighted, copyrighted material. Right. So, well, you can continue on, but I just figured I'd just bring that to everybody's attention before somebody goes, oh, well, we'll, we'll, just, well here, take a look at these. That's, that's the problem with the, the scope of the contract that was given to them didn't give us the proprietary exactly. stuff. Exactly. I, I, unfortunately, I have a good amount of experience in that area. Uh, if, if we did give those plans to somebody to review, mm -hmm. and if somebody did copy them, mm -hmm. it's not our responsibility because okay. we didn't that, infringe them. That's fine. Them. I'm, it's, I'm, it's I'm just wondering But I'm, on the I'm, table. I'm very confident that no engineer would do that. They might look at them, right. but they would not copy them. Okay. So, anyways. I know uh, they definitely wouldn't copy that we have to uh, uh, notify the, I believe, the Lenox uh, Highway Department and the Huntington Police Department to do any work. Well, that's how you prove that it's copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's in, that's in yeah, the plans. Yeah, that's that's in the plans. Is. That's a good reason why I, you shouldn't have paid them. I, <laughs> because right. it was malfeasance. Oh, no, that's not the first thing. It, the, the school roof was full of that. You know, they, they cited all these other towns that they were. Yeah. And I go, oh, you guys spent a lot of time. Yeah. These were all written. They were all on a computer and they just changed them. Yeah. Okay. Boil um, stuff. They'll do it. Mm -hmm. So we all set with the headworks discussion for now? Okay, so the Captain Lathrop pump station, um, we still don't have the folks to come down and meet with Kevin and uh, give us a price to do that, but I think we're still looking at the getting the grinder pumps. Um, they, get, they were supposed I'm to come. I'm surprised they didn't have a grinder pump there. The well, grinder pump is there, but it's not as efficient as the ones that... John? John. John came up with. Yeah. The ones that John came up with is, is they're a highly efficient um, design, but my understanding is, is those designs, instead of $6,000 a pump, now you're going to be probably talking $8,000 a pump, $9,000 a pump. So so just thousand nothing but compared to what we correct. I'm just anyway. again. I'm just trying to put information yeah. out on the table so people are informed. That's and I think the other thing that he did say is, in, with the new pumps, we get rid of all that old electronic stuff, and the newer stuff is, is much more compact. I mean, you open up that thing, it looks like an old, you know, computer. I mean, there's plugs in. I'm surprised there aren't transistors glowing and stuff in there. But there is. If you open it up, oh, there is. You know. But anyways, <laughs> then that, but that. He promised me that they were going out to Eagle Brook this month, so they would come by. So do we need a, a, rec a vote of this committee to recommend the Board of Selectmen that they replace the grinder pumps on the Captain Laser Station? I don't think so. Sewer right. commissioners can do anything they want. Yeah. I know, but we, yeah. what we want they to don't see need move the, They don't need our, our recommendation for that. I know that. Yeah. So, uh, um, they've already gone past our recommendation. Are we, are we going to get better? energy efficiency with the new pump and the antiquated stuff that's there? I didn't look at that. No. no. Motor is a motor is a motor. You'd be lucky if you'd squeak out another 5 to 7 percent, which is nothing. All right. Well, I think it's like the incandescent bulb. You know, it, it's the incandescent bulb is 5 percent efficient. It's been that way for 100 years. It's only the last 20 years that they really did something. The only way that we might save money that way is the new pumps are more powerful and they probably won't get clogged, so it won't be such a draw. Yeah. That, that they may they may have a uh, what do you call it uh, uh, soft start yeah. Yeah, provision soft start. in which would, would help a little bit. But yeah, I'm just asking. Play yeah, they, motor, motor is very anti antiquated as far as any kind of. Believe me, I don't understand electricity. So neither do I. The motion. The next one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the discussion. You've been plugged in for so long. You don't know the difference. <laughs> the establishment of the management areas is is ongoing. And uh, that's it's happening, so we're gonna we're gonna implement that as soon as we get back from the town council. Um, to discuss the outcome of the sewer study recommendations to the sewer commissioners for implementing our charge. What's that for? I don't know. I think what it is is I think what they're continuing, or they're, what they're trying to talk about is, and I'm assuming everybody has these. Mm. This right here is actually what nope. the documentation of what you're supposed to be giving this committee is supposed to be giving to the board of select, excuse me, the sewer commissioners board on, of on December. No, the sewer commissioners are not. I named. haven't seen that form. The sewer commissioners are not named. It's a select board, the same CIPC, thing. planning board, conservation commission. Okay, so who, who members is it to? We haven't got. 
It's not the sewer commission, sir. Because they talk about the sewer system infrastructure, improvements, stormwater reduction, we, proposed strategies, best. I'm just going It doesn't on make the, sense, but we don't report to the sewer commission. Right. Or we can make the recommendations, too. Because technically... We could. I mean, it doesn't say it can't. Well, technically, I mean... Never mind. What's the form for? Uh, basically, it, it talks about what the proposed strategies are, and you fill in the blank. What are the best practices? You like, fill in the blank. Like when it talks bullets. about the infrastructure, when it talks about the wastewater treatment facilities, when it talks about old Deerfield, South Deerfield, long-term plans, short-term plans. I, 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 I don't think I don't think that that's necessary. It's, it's kind of like the town has these forms. If somebody's going to come in and they're going to put up a a store on the corner and they send something to the highway department and you know Kevin gets this well it's on it's on the state highway and stuff I don't have any problems with it. I think this guy and he puts no comments well the other people go well how come you didn't write a book right. you know it's like you know it's plain yeah. simple if he had an issue with it he would say what the problems were but there's no problem so he has no issue and I think that's pretty much the same thing if the, the sewer the sewer commissioners are not going to strategize and think on how to do this mm -hmm. we're going to hire somebody and they're going to come back with recommendations and that's just the plain and simple so you know for us to for this committee to waste the time trying to fill that out i think it that's left up to the engineers to give us a proposal and you know, we'll go from there All right well i think this is pretty much this these things right here were from from bruce because this was yeah. part of the part of the book yeah part of his Bible per se, mm -hmm. that big jigu, huge jigunga one, the one that took it over there. Yeah. That's all part of that in here because they talk about when, when the committee was appointed on six twenty two two thousand sixteen, and these are the different people that are involved. You know, you're supposed to be making recommendations to the planning committee and the CIPC, and it's just it's, it's all that information is within here. So I didn't know if, <clears throat> this was the form that the committee was going to be filling out and then forwarding to the whoever, Board of Selectmen slash Health Commissioner slash sewer. I've never seen that. I haven't okay. seen it either. All right, well, it's in that book. Well, well, that brings up the question of who's going to write the report, and what's the format going to be, and yeah. I don't know, I don't know, somebody, Kevin, you want to Can you think about a pleasant journey? <laughs> you want to write it? That would be, a, that would be an unpleasant, <laughs> just forget that. <laughs> that would be a, uh, if I didn't I have a pleasant kind of journey, maybe I could do it. I figured I'd give you this thing. <laughs> you know, whatever you get. Okay, yes, no problem. Hey, no reason it can't be verbal. It's right. <coughs> it has the same writing. <laughs> they have a meeting as I report. I wrote, a, I wrote a paper in a biology class years ago. Guess what? <laughs> Took a picture of potato, right? That's <laughs> just... <laughs> Photos worth oh, 500 words. So long. <laughs> Probably worth a thousand words. <laughs> Whatever it was. Oh, okay. I, well, think some, I think it some of this is going to take care of itself when we have the sewer commissioner here <coughs> in our meetings. Oh, yeah, I think so. I think that'll be a. When I get the difference. We're making too much noise. As far as the, the, the discussion for the preparation of a, an RFP, not with an RPF. <clears throat> oh, I thought I was dyslexic. <laughs> Anyways, I think we already had that discussion. Yeah. So I guess there's nothing more. Yeah. Yeah. The one about? above says implementation of an SCC charge. That's the charge. It, That's what we were just okay. discussing. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, so, you're, so you're, you're going to tell us when these well, meetings well, are, yeah. just in, 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 if we can go. If we can yeah, make it there. I was going to meet them at sewer plant, so I will, okay. when I do that, I can let you all know. Yeah, let, let you send us an email? I will. Yeah. Yep. What about, I we're not going to be concerned in the morning, but not in the afternoon. We're not going to be concerned about, oh, you're going to post the meeting notice. You no, can't. No, no. I'm, and and I don't know that it's in, it's in, I don't have a definite time yet. I was just saying, okay. that, you know, I don't know right. if it's going to what, what happens if the open meeting law is violated because we didn't post so the this meeting? Somebody, somebody will complain. Intentional. They'll go huh? to the state. And the state will slap your hands, and you've got to promise not to do it again. All right. So yeah, but this would be intentional after, right off the bat. There would be no excuse for this. Because so what do they do? What can they do? They slap your hand, they make you read the book to say you can't do it again, and you got to promise not to do it again. Otherwise, they can fine you up to 1000 or 2000 oh, So they, it can be monitored. Oh, yeah. But I haven't heard of anybody yet <clears throat> fined yet. So. Yeah, but now you're talking about it on tape, so. Yep. 
Well, so I say at this point, she's it's not taking them. But it's not. It's not no, no, it's a question. meeting if, if, if you folks. If want, nobody if, answer, if you all want to just sit, you know, come and you can ask questions. questions. And, you know, that's it. You can ask all the questions you want. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. Uh, and you can have these questions between. You can write down every answer. So we can ask. We can talk to the engineer, but I can't talk to you. Correct. Yeah. And, and like I said, I'm not. What I've done in the past is I brought them there, and I show them what it what's there, and what extra, explain the best that I can what the problems are. Have them look around and tell me what you what you see. You know what I recommend you do? <clears throat> when you get the time and place, post a meeting to be safe. Yeah, because you don't have to conduct the meeting. But also if anybody post, shows up, right, if it's 48 posted, hour notice. You, Forty-eight hour notice. I still I, think you I, need to ask the individual. I was going to say, the other thing is, the other thing is, the other thing is, they, 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 they right. may clam right up and not even show up. You, right? Right. Okay. The other thing you need to do is post an executive session, also because of the confidentiality and the negotiations and what have you. If, and check with Wendy to find out what the section of the uh, open meeting law pertains to it, because you need to protect the confidential information that you're getting. All right, this is getting a little complicated. I mean, do right. you guys really mind if I just <laughs> meet with these guys? Because I'm not, you know, I'm not going to tell them that. I'm just going to try to get them to send letters to if, the town. If it needs to be done to simplify it, yeah. get my vote, go ahead and I do just, it. In the exactly. open meeting laws get in the way well, it's 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 of us being it kills, it kills small towns. Right. Absolutely. You know, these small well, can you, especially can you might not turn know. on your iPhone and just record. Well, 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 the problem is so we don't we want can... to do that and have a have a record of it. Right. And then right. have somebody turn around re file a records retention right. request, a freedom of information request, and they can get your information and get your emails and everything else. Right. It kind of ties Kip's hand. Better off with, with these guys. No they, 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 might, they might only know the night before that they can show up that next day. Yeah, so it's impossible to. Kip's willing to spend it. his own time to do it. So Kip, can I, you, I, let's I, let I, him do I, it. I can you make sure that they have access to what we've already paid Weston and Sampson to do so that they have some of that information? I know they can't copy it or what have you. But you know, it might be to their advantage and save them time in trying to go through the whole thing. Well, that's all public records. Well, that's all public records. I, I, you know. But I'm just trying to say, just to make I, it, make yeah, it, I, try I, to make this it is, easier on them. This is pretty informal. I, I, you know, I'm not yeah. saying this is what we want. That's why I keep trying to say that. I'm not going to tell them we're what picking we've brains. Got. We're picking you know, the brains. Pick their brains and let them volunteer information, you know, to help us create an RFP that will be more Helpful. Yeah. With the right approach. Make sure we get Josh to look at it too. Oh, that definitely. Remember, Josh volunteered to give us sample RFPs up front. Yes, he did. So and if he we said that some he of those would, samples, that'd be good. Right. And he also said that he would spend a little time with Wendy to yes. help or whoever to to create that. So. So we, you know, we're getting. We're still moving in the right direction. Yes, sir. Okay. See, so as it seems. Always right. All right. Anything else we want to do? Yeah. Um, since it hasn't been done yet, I would like to make a motion or or discuss um, a recommendation to the select board to appoint Josh Kim, uh, Schimmel to the uh, sewer committee to the sport. We I've already beat you to it. Oh, you already. Yeah, did. and I I'm going to ask him. You know, that's what I did. You're ask him for I'm going to ask him if he wants. Oh, you to. hadn't asked. Uh, I haven't asked him yet. Oh. But I I did talk to the board about it. Okay. And they, they're they're fine with it. So okay. I'm going to ask him if he wants to do it. There's still another opening too. Besides that, well, that you actually have two openings at this point. Paul Kostakis. Right. Yeah. He's that's never he, he's never attended. He's never attended. He's probably never gotten sworn in. No. No, because he 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 declined to join. Right. Yeah, well, exactly. He didn't, so he never. Yeah. I don't know if he formally declined to the select or not, but it, yeah, if he's right. never been sworn in, then right. it's, it's a, you know, it's a. Are we going to reach out to Bruce Hunter? Uh, well, I would hope. We, I would. I can. Let me, we let should me, reach out to him before we. Uh, I'll call him. Well, we, even even if we appoint, even if they oh, do appoint. Okay. That's right. There's still another. Yeah. We have. Right. There's two openings right now. So. There's no reason we can't expand the committee to be nine. Sorry. Sure. Eight. Well, if we get Josh on there, and if we somehow we, I mean, if we need to, to come back in there, we need to do a vote to bump it up. 
So anyway, I, I think, I think it's, well, we don't vote to bump it up the floor. No, they are. Right. I, I don't think we'll need. I to. think that both of those moves would be very, very positive to get yes. Bruce back and to get Josh on board. Mm -hmm. And the third thing is to get the two selectmen to be also involved as ex officio, so that we can everybody be on the same wavelength no and questions. buy into the whole thing that what we're trying to do. And why? I mean, that's no. my opinion. My question is, though, so, because I watched part of that meeting last night, Henry, is um, Carolyn kept saying the three of you as ex officio. No, that's not but, true. Well, yeah. no, I, think what she, I think what she was looking at was is not knowing that there was an additional space open to basically the way I took what I heard was Kip steps away from the board as chair, opens a position which allows someone else to come in, and then he is there as an ex official, as a. There's no reason to do that. Though. I know. I'm just telling you that okay. that is my interpretation oh, okay. of what. I know she there's was no reason to, to do it, but I, she she kept saying the three of them as ex officio. So that was my that was the way I read what she said. Why don't they just vote to increase the size of the committee? I don't think it's necessary. We are. No, if we, we, we have it on us if you we start have increasing it too much. So You're going to end up with a problem of trying to start from square one to right. educate everybody. Right. It's well, taking a long time to get here. We need one but I, I think if we can get Bruce back needed. on and, and Josh is, is, right is you know, well between Josh and Pete, we have two right. professionals. Right. I think it would be a, a mm. great asset. And then, as yeah. Bob said, you know, we get the other two select ex officio, then that way it's not being, they're hearing everybody so that's just his side. He's already on the board. Why should he go ex yeah, official? I, I, I well, hope not. That's what Kevin said, right? That's yeah. No, no, one. that was no, my understanding what, what she was trying to say last well, night, not what I was saying. What Carolyn, no. right. and, and I, I really, I don't <laughs> like speaking for other people, but in the past, two examples. One is that uh, for the school roof, uh, you know, I was having a difficult time uh, with the school department as far as making some of the changes. And uh, they kept, at, at our meetings, they kept saying, well, they wanted to talk to Carolyn, they wanted to talk to Carolyn. And at our meetings several times, the other two members had voted for me to be the voice of the board. But yet, this kept coming up. So Carolyn would come to the meetings and, and she, was, she would just say, no, if that's what he wants to do, that's what we're going to do. Um, and kind of the same thing happened at South County EMS where she didn't vote, but she still goes there and, you know, lends her support to whatever, you know, she feels. And that was... Where are you South County? Is there something new going on? There's always something new going on. Well, there's always something. They can think... They can something daydream all day. Continue moving. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you. Well, if that's it, anybody want to make a motion to adjourn? You make a motion yeah, to adjourn. Hey, set the date. You uh, we did. We did. It's all thirty first. Right. But do we make do we make a motion? Then? No. No. Twenty ninth. Twenty ninth. That's what we I'm changing. I make a motion. The next meeting be the 29th of August. August second, Tuesday at six o'clock. August twenty ninth, second. Twenty uh, seconding the motion. Like <laughs> 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 We usually make have a motion. No, we don't. No, no we don't. Yeah, like if you okay. wish. Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, so we, do we have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. Great. Thank you, guys.